was just kind of coming down that like, messes me up a big. The, the downswing. The downswing. Okay. And I know that a big problem even when we started is I'm putting too much into the into the backswing. So I, I'm trying to like have more of like a level, you know, take it up slow almost and then bring it back down with, with the, the strength. But Okay. Um, but yeah, it's just it's all over the place. All right. So what's up like how to explain this um, or ask you this like what do you think is supposed to happen in the downswing what do you think you're what do you think you're supposed to do so why don't i tell you this like, okay the people that i golf with like are all very good and like mm -hmm. um no one's like going out of their way to give me advice They're just like if you want my two cents most of them are saying that like where i'm where i'm taking the club when it's up it's the same thing that you do when you make me like slow it down and then you come over and you're like adjusting because i'm putting it completely in the wrong direction on back Okay. So I'm setting myself up to be impossible to hit the ball. Okay. Um, well, not impossible because you do, right? Like you are hitting the ball. You're playing golf with it there. Yeah. It's just different. Right. Okay. And I remember at your house you said, like, you know, when we're saying, like, get it to where, like, you're... Pointed out the door. Or, like, or here, you like, point it to the clubhouse. And, like, I'm thinking too much about that. Like, okay. I don't know okay. where I'm supposed to put it on the back so just to be very honest. Like, okay. All right, so let me kind of explain this to you in a way that, you know, you won't have to think about too much of how to do it in the future. So set up to a golf shot. Just an iron shot, yeah. Yep. Okay, stand back just like two or three feet. Keep going. There we go, okay. So set up to a golf shot. All right, so I want you to feel like you can take the club to the top of your swing without twisting it or bending it or doing anything to your wrists that are making the club go to the top. I want it to go back like just, I guess I could call it like gentle and balanced. So take it back, all right? So right away, we can see from here, we've put some twist into it. We've, we've put some twist into that because it's gone a different way. So one more time, set up to it. All right, so when you start with your hand like this, you have to make sure that as you go back this way, in order not to put anything into it, that it stays that way. Like, okay. the way that you hold on to the club kind of has an influence on a lot of things. All right, it could be better. There we go. Hold it there. Okay, put your other hand on. Okay, that's how I want you to check your grip right there. And that's how I want it to feel. That's how I want it to look. I'm going to push your handle down to the ground more. Hands down to the ground more. Okay, good. All right, so that's how I want this club to feel like it goes back into your back. Swing. So we're going to start there, bring it back to the ball, and then bring it back to me here. Okay, now bring it back to me here. Okay, so we haven't done much into this club, right? It's still the same orientation, the same situation that it was there. And if you can take it back, soften this up, take it back without putting anything into it, right? That's how it's going to go back the best for you every time. So when they say hinge, that's the other thing that fucked me up. That's putting something into it, and I don't want you to do that, right? So, like, when, if you move one end of the club, the other end of the club moves too. Right? If I move this end back, that end moves forward. So if I'm here in a backswing and I move the club head back without moving the handle, at some point I need to get the club head to catch back up to the handle. Right? I need to line this back up again. So I don't want you to feel like you're doing any of this stuff or any of this lifting because at some point it's going to have to get back down again. Okay. Right? And the whole golf club moves back nice and gentle the whole time. Like, so set up to it. Imagine that, like, I put a, I don't know, um, something on it right here, like, I'm trying to think of something. Like, if I could just stick a golf ball onto the shaft right there, and it's sitting there nice and light and gentle, okay? How do you take it back all the way up, keeping that club, keeping the ball on the shaft, nice and easy, gentle, right? So take it back this way. So now, right, so now the ball's got to be on the top, right? If it's down... If it's down this way, it's going to fall over, so now it's balancing here, and so as it goes up, right, we're not putting anything into this golf club yet. There's not any hinge, there's not any hinge this way either, there's not any twisting, right, but if you take it back by, if we hold it in a, in a poor way and take it back with arm twist, that's where it's kind of getting at a whack for you, is that when you've got, when you're from here to here, this is what ruins it. Because from there, there's only certain ways that you can take this club up again. Okay. And some of the worst things they did was uh, all the things I was watching. Yeah. I wasn't watching hour-long tutorials. I was just watching quick snippets. Sure. Everyone's right-handed. There's not many, very, very many left-handed. 
It's all the same. So what I did, and I just want to confirm that this is like absolutely moronic and backwards, is, you know, instead of taking the club back and like going with the club face this way, I was twisting my wrist almost like this. So that's putting something into the club that at some point you're going to have to do a opposite to get it back to where it so is. If ever down the line I am using my wrist, I just want to ask, am I hitting the wrist? Because there's no position where I'm ever going Both of those are a problem. Right. Because every anything that you do to it is going to require you to now do something else to bring it back. Okay. And I want to make the least amount of motions or moves in your swing. So I want it to feel as though that you're holding on to this club like, you know, this, and how far back can you go without doing anything to this club? Like hinging it or bending it. Good, good. Right? And just, we're not putting anything into that club that needs it to be fixed. No, I think that does a lot of, that makes a lot of problems for you. Yeah. I mean, okay. 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 So, but you have no problem with me doing this, or you want me to go Doesn't matter. It's up to you. If it's comfortable, do it. And then this, this should always be, I should always see this essentially what you're saying. It's more about, it's got to sit more in the fingers, so, it, so therefore you see it that way. But if it's, if it's sitting too much into the palm, doesn't get some the mobility we want yeah and all I want you to feel like you can do is take this club back without putting any hinging or any bending or twisting into it that it's just going back straight like like if we think of just orientation I think a lot of people just they skip out a little bit on the like the orientation part of this stick so let's go back to where your ball is here So like when, when we're moving the club, we have to kind of understand and get a, a sense of some sort of the golf club coming through and hitting the golf ball, right? Like what is the club, what's the grip, what does the shaft look like as the club comes through, striking the golf ball, and where does it go? And I think when we get a bit of an understanding of those conditions with the, of what the club has to do, now we can start moving our body to let that happen. But if we're trying to move our body to just sling this, this, this stick, the shaft, down and through without just like a, a random hit, that's where we get random shots. So, can you stand here for a second? So, I think the, the thing that I was thinking might be a good place for us to work on today is exactly this, and I'm glad it's come to it, that we can tr fi get a feeling or a sense that we understand how this club has to go through the hitting area. Like, uh, how does it hit the ground if it hits the ground? You know, what does it look like going through it? How do we have to, why are we moving our body in a golf way, you know, to hit this golf shot the way that we want it to? So... The, the thing I wanted to work on, we might as well grab it. Grab your 56 wedge, and you have a 60 as well? Yeah, someone gave it to me. Okay, I'll take the 60, just for demo. Okay, so if we've got the wedge, regardless of the loft, you know, we're trying to get a feeling of this club, club kind of coming through with the club handle leading in front of the club head, right? All the way through until it catches up to it later on. And I think that's a big un a piece of understanding is that when the when we make a backswing, the club head works its way back into our backswing a little bit. Like it's going to move a little bit more than everything else on the inside, right? Obviously, we see it. The club head goes the furthest. The chest goes the least amount of distance. I want it to feel as though that when you're swinging this club, that you feel like the grip and the club head both move the same distance through the shot. Like there is no release. There's no hit. There's no, you'll notice that when I start to push the club head forward, the butt of the club actually starts working backwards, right? So that would mean that the club's working in two different directions. That is a pure example of a seesaw, right? We don't want any seesaws in this swing. So I want it to feel like you're trying to take this club, keeping it leaned forward just a little bit and bringing it back and through where it feels like it just stays leaning forward just a little bit the whole time. And you have to try and find a way to move your body so that the grip of the club and the club head can have a sense of moving through the shot this way 
leaning forward, hitting all the way through here until it catches up later on. So the finish position for this shot, and this is where I think you're going to find the best benefit. The finish position is where your right arm and the golf club line up in a straight line pointed at the target. It can't go past that today because now because we're going to control the club face a lot of the stuff that we did before was speed oriented trying to feel like we could speed the club up so there was a little bit of a manipulation here but i wanted to feel today that your right arm and your hand and the shaft all create see how that line kind of leans back there it is in a straight line so ball's already in the air by the time that happens and then that stays the way it is all the way over to here okay so just one hand we can see it Right, and stay straight all the way over to there. And, we have, and the way that you're going to do this is finding different ways to speed up this club. Whether it's going to feel like you're speeding up the whole golf club, whether you're speeding up the grip, whether you're speeding up like the middle of the shaft, something along the lines, along those lines are going to let you feel like you can move the whole golf club together. It's a, it's a, it's easy to say when you kind of get the feeling of doing it, but unless you've had that feeling it's kind of like it sounds kind of dumb to hear that we're trying to move the whole golf club together right almost like it's the whole club that has to go through like when we hit shots like slap shots right with a hockey stick it's the whole stick that goes through together right this has to go through no one in the history of hockey has ever backed up the handle to hit a shot you know what i mean and so that's kind of what we're looking for here with this one, that we can keep the shaft leaning to the right or forward. So this end of the club stays in front of that end of the club all the way through here until it lines up straight and then we're going to stop. And that's basically the ultimate of club speed. These little shots, you know, are going to help you with your pitching, right? But it's first going to give you an idea of, hey, like that's what the club has to look like. And this is what I have to feel like to make that happen. Even when you take out your eight iron and you're hitting full shots, feeling like you can get that whole golf club working through together and not have any seesaws or backing up. When you set up with a, a ledge or six, am I setting up like, I'm not ever setting up like this. Like, up just with it, like, kind of yeah, so for, for what we're working on, we're going to feel as though that we can get the handle leaning forward. Alright, so you'll notice that kind of looks like that. My arm's straight, but the shaft leans to the left of it. Right? And try to feel like we can keep that the whole way around here. One of the biggest things in the golf swing that, like, the best players in the world, another way to explain it, the best players in the world manage the length of this line really well yeah like the best players in the world manage the length of this line from their lead shoulder all the way to the golf club they can manage it really well bryson talks a lot about trying to play around at the longest end of things he likes the end of range of motion for a lot of things right but i think that the average golfer especially the golfer that's trying to learn based on what they see a pro golfer do they reduce this line through hinge and bend and then do their best to throw it back out in line not quite sure when it happens all right and so what we're trying to do here with with you right now is feeling as though that your right arm and golf club are trying to maintain a long straight line and i want you to feel as though that you can go back and through keeping that line straight and long but just a little bit bent this way not hinged up and not short Right? If I go like this, don't move. If I go like that, I'm right at your chest. If I bend to the left, see how far back I am from you? Okay. If I bend forward, same thing. I don't get to you. Even when it goes up, I, don't, I move away from you. Right? I want to try and max out the width this line, and but feel as though that it's bent forward and hit some shots like that today. Yeah. Yeah, so if you put your arm and your club shaft on a table, okay, shaft's on the table, arm's on the table, face straight up and down, okay, and then from there, just move the club head across the table so it's back a little bit. Yeah, not just, yeah, so hold it there. So now it's just back a little bit. So here's your arm, but there's the shaft, so you've turned your 56 degree into a 36 degree, and we're trying to feel like it goes through this way, hits the golf ball, 
and then releases to straight and never goes past that straight. So straight is another word for inline, another word for long. You cannot, without moving your shoulder, you cannot get longer than this. We need to play around in this long world, not in the bent, narrow world. And when I'm taking it back, Yeah? So show me a shot where you finish there first, and then we'll talk about the backswing stuff after. Finish exactly like what you said? Yeah. Okay, bent. One more time. Bent? Yep, narrow. Can I have my setup? Push my arm first that way you can a little bit, yeah. Put the ball in the middle of your stance. Okay, all right. So go ahead and hit it and then freeze. The only time that that's going to go and catch up to straight is if you flip it or you, or you stop using your body. It's going to feel slower than you think. It's going to feel really slow to make sure that you can get this going. That you can feel like that the arm and the shaft are one big solid line that can never break and you have to move back and through all the way to here. But I don't want this to feel like it wiggles because if it wiggles then it's going to throw. I don't want this. Good. And that's all I really want you to focus on for now is trying to feel like you can move back and move through and manage the club head staying to the left of your hands, right, all the way through the shot and only let it catch up at the very, very end once the ball's in the air. Yeah. Focus on trying to figure out where you're going to end up and that's what's going to be your best cues. Yeah. Do everything you can to end up in the right spot. Even your misses are going to be good. So keep working on this and go all the way up to an 8-iron. But even though you've got an 8-iron in your hand, I want it to feel like the same motion. 